problems uh, when you are in uh, that means in reality you can use computer so you can save the time here you see the way we are teaching this is experiment number nine in computer application in geotechnical engineering so we are considering slope now you can see theta so divided the slope into number of slices you can see formula don't worry c into length of arc you know uh, length of arc is pi r theta by 180 sigma n tan phi by sigma t so prepare one table now so here you see now so the thing is uh, you can see here the what books are saying each and every step we discuss it now the moments we are calculated some of resisting moment by some of our turning moment see uh, what we are discussing so now you can see w cos alpha w sin alpha so we are not missing anything we are not you see this is my notes actually so the way i prepared my the class you can found here you see uh, how i calculated n and t so just a sliding mass on an inclined surface we are analyzing this problem in uh, physics, especially when you are reading intermediate. So now you can see here, I can show you that uh, the way we are solving the problem, you see this is a computer. Uh, now you see, uh, this is an Excel sheet, you can see here, the way we are solving the problem, the radius is there, uh, centroid data is there. Now we can able to calculate a long cut, you see width of each slice, three meter, three meter, first ordinate, the uh, last coordinate of each uh, slice and mid ordinate. Now I am getting volume gamma into uh, B into H. Uh, so here you see uh, volume, uh, I am getting volume area into uh, 1, then I am getting gamma, then I am getting W. So alphas, alphas are coming out from the AutoCAD. Now I am getting, uh, you see here W cos alpha. Uh, here you can see W sin alpha. So Excel is doing that. Even if water table is there, we will consider. Now at the end, we are considering calculating n dash. We can see the way we are calculating with C and phi factor of safety. So this problem actually is there in Wittlow book. Wittlow is a very popular book. Uh, many foreign universities they are following. So this is the way we are working on computer using computer. So it's good to share. Uh, so here we see the way we are analyzing in AutoCAD. So, and finally, we are getting factor safety. You know, in AutoCAD, we can use line command, offset command. We have trim. So, basic commands. You see, this is the way I have done in computer. Uh, so, just drawing the slope. And now I can able to, by using dim angle, dimension angle, I can get the angles. So, this is the problem from our standard book, Karola. So now you can see here, yeah, this is the slope actually. So uh, this is the way Arora has solved the question in his book. But now coming to our discussion, so we can draw this slope in AutoCAD. So now we use it the comments. Let me share the whatever I am having. So here you see this is a problem from TG Sitara. And we have analyzed it by using AutoCAD and also using the Excel. So this is the way we are working uh, in reality. But uh, now the softwares are available. You can